Hi, this is Angel Jones. I love great conversations where life's journey is communicated not only through words, but tones and emotions. Explosive expressions that allow you to feel what they felt and learned. A fool learns only from his own mistake, while the wise learn from their own and from those others have made. Thanks for being here with us. Good morning, Angel. How are you doing? Good morning, Jim. Jim Judge. Jim sells data storage and cloud-based hardware and software technology and has worked in the information technology field for 16 plus years. Professionally, Jim has a unique ability of entrepreneurship with creating value-adding, revenue-generating practices within large enterprise corporations. Personally, Jim is involved with multiple mastermind groups with a focus on personal development and entrepreneurship. It's a great pleasure to have you. I'm doing excellent, Angel. I'm honored to be here. Thank you. So, Jim, let's get cracking. What talent, Jim, do you have that you believe is responsible for you being on this podcast today? Angel, great question. Um, I believe it is a strong drive for personal development. I believe that's something we both have in common, and it's uh, it's something that uh, has driven us uh, together here and uh, met you at the uh, Iron Sharpens Iron Mastermind Group, and that's something that's uh, run by Aaron Walker. And I met, and then met Aaron Walker originally at a uh, Dan Miller Mastermind Group as well. And again, it kind of goes back to just that drive for personal development, trying to become the, uh, the best version of myself. Jim, who did you learn this skill or ability from? I learned that from my dad. He has uh, constantly tried to um, uh, pursue, uh, become the best version of himself personally and professionally. And that's something that I just kind of grew up and it just came to become commonplace. Why would you continue repeating this or not? You know, that, that drive for personal development has really been a key ingredient to my success. And so... Uh, that's something that I, I continue with uh, on a daily basis, and it's something also I, I share with others around me. I'd like to know what is one thing you've done consistently over the past three years? I read a lot of books, Angel. Uh, a lot of my free time is spent um, just reading a lot of good books on uh, business, finance, and strategy. When reading, what is the feeling you have, and is it a feeling that you get after you're finished reading or during the time you're reading the books? Great question. So it, it's a feeling I get while I'm reading the books and uh, even afterwards. It's really a feeling of empowerment. As I'm reading the books, I really kind of have a, a strategy of trying to pull out one or two kind of gold nuggets of information that I can really apply to my life. And it's not just getting the information, but it's actually then turning around and actually implementing it in my life and trying these things. Excellent. And really feeling Sorry, sorry. What did you say, Jim? Just a really overall feeling of empowerment. Excellent. So why would you suggest that someone that is listening adopt such a habit? You know, life is just too short to live somebody else's version of who they think you are. And it really goes back to what I've been talking about of really becoming the best version of yourself. So, Jim, here we touch a bit on what is your earliest childhood memory? Yeah, that was a good one. I... Growing up, there was a picture of Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, like just laughing. Um, it was a picture on my on my bedroom wall, and every time I woke up, I'd, I'd look at that, and it just it just made a imprint in my mind. Hmm. And how old do you think you were? Uh, I was probably about three or four years old. Why do you think that that memory in particular is so clear? I, you know, really, I think it's so clear because it shapes my uh, spiritual life and really it, it shaped my relationship with Jesus and how I see my relationship with him and that he's always laughing. He's always calm. He's always um, accepting of who I am. Yeah. You know, just to expand upon that, Jim, a lot of people don't see that image of Jesus. It's usually him probably dying on the cross, isn't it? Correct. You're right. So Jim, now we go into yes or no. Have you chosen someone to teach your skills and talents to? Yes. Are you married, Jim? Yes. Do you have children? Yes. Do you believe in God? Yes, sir. Your favorite song when you were 12 years old? 
It was by uh, a group named DC Talk, and the song's name was New Bank. God is doing a new bank. You know he's doing it. Sweet. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a week? Uh, three hours a week? No, probably I don't. I, you know, if I've got available time or free time, again, I'm, I'm either reading a book or, or listening to a really good audio book. That's actually something we're doing as a family now more, is actually just listening to good audio books, whether we're on a drive, in the vehicle together as a family, or even sitting around the, uh, the kitchen table. Hmm. Jim, in closing, is there anything you would like to share with our listeners? Yeah, I'd like to challenge your audience to really just pursue the best version of themselves and live a life of authenticity. Excellent. Jim, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you for being on with us. Thank you, Angela. I really appreciate our time together. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise. <laughs>